एन न्यूज एटीन नो टाउन होल कार्यक्रम थी रो टाउन होल कार्यक्रम में स्मृति ईरानी उपस्थित है that every individual in this country should find a voice in this policy because when we did a uh, understanding or introspection how policy had evolved in this country it was uh, mostly restricted to the power halls of delhi never were parents asked never were educational institutions especially in uh, tribal areas in the northeast they were never asked we had over 2 lakh village education councils they were never activated to ask what kind of policy do you want the prime minister said let's make a democratic process come alive through this education policy initiative and mariya we went to every district every educational institution we went to every education council in the village over 2 lakh such education councils and villages were activated tell us what is it that you want in your policy and today when we see this policy it has yes for the first time in the history of our country a gender inclusion fund but the fact is that this is a policy that has been politically accepted across the nation ideologically accepted yes. across the nation i am extremely proud to have contributed to it the other uh, if you want me to reflect on the remnants of my administrative experience i think that leadership is not only about facing challenges in the present it is also about preparing for challenges that may emanate in the future in 2014 when the honorable prime minister spoke about social media technology there were many in the opposition that scoffed at him he first determinedly gave us the mega platform and he said let government ask the citizens comment or the citizens views or critique on government policies and that is when mygov started what we also did in that time was to start the first moocs platform today edtech is the buzzword in 2014 everybody told me ye kya moocs platform aap bana rahe ho hindustan khud nahi bana sakta at that time government of india started a moocs platform which today has over 1000 courses has over 1 and 1/2 crore students the entire curriculum was digitized and made available free of cost to every citizen and i remember distinctly in 2014 and 15 people said isse kya hoga when the pandemic came that's when everybody realized that this is what was needed so i'm grateful that we have leadership that prepared for it when we talk about literacy uh, in our country there was a presumption that literacy means aapko hastakshar karna aata hai you know your signature you can write your name you're literate the prime minister said that if you're talking about the digital divide to be bridged in our country then individuals need to be digitally literate at that time there were many who scoffed at him and said hamare desh mein phone kaun istemal karta hai hamare desh mein computer kaun istemal karta hai gaon mein today you have a program called pm disha which not many people in delhi may know of but 4 crore citizens especially from rural in india have been made digitally literate out of that 2 crore 80 lakhs are only women 2 crore 88 lakhs to be precise that's a huge revolution which has happened in your country so it